right, thanks, John. Yeah, busy afternoon, busy evening, and then tomorrow it starts all over again. So here's a look out toward the uh, Golden One Center. Uh, we got a little lull in the action. Cold front's approaching the area right now, so you're going to have some waves of rainfall moving through, maybe even a few thunderstorms. So here is a look at your first alert action day and what is on the weather menu today as well as tomorrow. Well, we got a series of three storms impacting the area. The first one coming through right now. Heavy mountain snowfall expected, valley rainfall heavy at times, and of course, windy conditions are expected. Now, something that's not on that board slated, right? It's not the cold. We haven't mentioned the cold so much, but it's chilly outside. 44 in Sacramento, 44 in Vacaville, 43 in Stockton, mid to upper 30s coming in for the hills and the lower 20s coming in for the Sierra. Now you take an air temperature in the low 40s, you add in a 13 mile per hour wind, a 25 mile per hour wind, 22 to 15, and this is what it feels like. 34 in Stockton, 33 in Fairfield, 39 in Sacramento, 34 in Marysville, 26 in Auburn. So today it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be wet, it's going to be windy, a lot like what we left you with on Friday, what I left you with on Friday weather wise. So wind advisory in effect through four o'clock in the afternoon, and that's essentially going to be the valley floor. Chico, uh, that's going to be Yuba City, even in parts of the lower foothills through Auburn, Sacramento, all the way down to Modesto. Those winds coming in out of the south around 40 to 50 miles per hour, and those are some of the strongest winds that's coming in with the passage of that frontal boundary. So here's your Doppler radar, and you can see the yellow and the orange. That is essentially some of those heavier rounds of rain fall coming in with that frontal boundary and it's really coming in at a pretty nice clip through Stockton. You got some moderate to heavy rainfall also moving into Lodi and to Galt more in the way of moderate to heavy rainfall south of Esparto moving in through winters also impacting Woodland and as we continue to move up to the north and east Wheatland, you're also looking at some pretty moderate to heavy rainfall coming through. Now when you take a look at snowfall. This deep shade of blue means is coming down and that's going to be basically the forecast today. Rounds of heavy snowfall expected, whiteout conditions, reduced visibility, all because in addition to the snowfall coming down, you got winds from 50 to 70 miles per hour. Now take a look at your future cast. You can make out the frontal boundary. Here it is right here. You got winds coming out of the south of head of it. You got westerly winds back behind it and you can make out that line. Now once the cold front crosses the area, we'll have uh, some showers. You'll have some breaks in the showers. You'll have some pockets of sunshine and you can see at 410, not a lot going on. However, with the pockets of sunshine, if you get enough daytime heating, that can almost spark instability and that is what could fuel the chance for isolated thunderstorms. That's going to be in the forecast this afternoon through this evening, especially back behind the passage of the cold front. Then we have another round of the chance for rainfall heavy at times coming in around six o'clock in the morning on Tuesday and then another round comes in around 345 in the afternoon and then after that we're said and done at least for about three days. But here's a chance of the thunderstorm outlook. Parts of the hills all the way to the Bay Area. Slight risk of thunderstorms, small size accumulating hail. You could have grapple, gusty winds. You know the drill. For blizzard warning, that's going to be an effect to 4 a.m. on Wednesday, and that is where you got that red shading there. In order to have a blizzard, you got to have really strong winds. That is the one key component you have to have in order to have a blizzard. You don't have to have falling snow. You just got to have blowing snow, so much so it reduces your visibility for more than three hours, and you have to have winds of at least 35 miles per hour of at least three hours and we got that in spades. So winds coming in around 50 to 70, two to seven feet of snowfall expected. Blizzard warning in effect today and tomorrow that expires early Wednesday. Major travel impacts are expected with your seven day forecast again. Tomorrow is going to be another impactful day. More sunshine Wednesday, Thursday and Friday done as we attempt to dry out, but more rain and snow possible for the upcoming weekend.